Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Wow, can't believe I have to do this all over again. <laughs> but anyway, um, on today's video, I'm going to uh, be talking about what's going on with the housing market. I want to believe this uh, this trend that's going on right here in the US of A. Uh, it's, I want to believe that it's what's going on in most parts of the world. So what's going on uh, with the housing market right here in the US of A? Uh, honestly, guys, before I even uh, proceed, let me just I uh, tell you that I did not think that I was going to be covering a uh, real estate so much earlier in this uh, in my channel uh, considering that there isn't too many people uh, in this channel we are still a very 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 small channel but uh, with with the trend that's going on right now I could not ignore this trend I couldn't ignore this trend yeah it is a uh, very interesting what's going on right now uh the market is super hot uh, the housing market is volatile we know that the market trends uh tend to change yeah so what's actually going on with the housing market right now is what we call uh the the seller's market yes the market right now it's favoring people who are selling homes so that means people who have uh, properties that they are getting rid of uh, homes that they are selling they are realizing maximum profits uh, through the sales of those homes of or, or for those properties uh so what's going on is uh this uh well for this type of market really favors of course as i've already mentioned it favors people who are trying to get rid of uh their properties this could be people who are um, trying to sell maybe extra properties that they they had maybe they are real estate investors who who were doing what to what we call buy buy and hold they bought these properties at a very very low price or discounted price and now they want to get rid of those homes this is an amazing time for them to sell because they are going to realize maximum profit and what i have gotten to understand in the past a few days as i've been following uh, the news on this and the market trends as far as uh, the housing market um, it, it turns out that uh, this was all orchestrated by uh, the pandemic because what happened i will remember last year when the pandemic started in 2020 most people started working from home and so what that means is as more and more people are working from home they need more space in their home they need uh, more uh, bigger spaces they need more rooms additional rooms to turn into home offices and it turns out the most people who are buying believe it or not it's every age group millennials uh, they are buying because with growing families um, and with the with the with the working from home situation they need more space for their home offices and also all the baby boomers they're in the same bracket and believe it or not people are retiring they're trying to buy homes in those areas in those states and um, in those states or cities that they would love to retire to actually this video was inspired by this couple uh this couple uh, they've been trying to uh relocate they are re facing retirement and they wanted to retire uh in and move to michigan so they're trying to buy a home in michigan and it turns out they went to see uh this home that they so love they love the home and everything it fit uh their needs and they put in an offer as they were following up on their offer it turns out that that house did not have not only one not two not three not ten offers but 26 uh, offers so 26 people had put in offers for that one house which tells me that there is more demand than the supply and what happens when there is more demand than supply is just the basic uh, rule of economics the price it will tend to go up it will skyrocket and uh, most people uh, what is happening is uh, some people may end up overpaying for uh, that house let me give you an example uh, using numbers say that home is uh, maybe a modest home that is worth $250,000 $250,000 in whatever small city in Michigan and um, well homes in michigan i know they are way cheaper than that um i live in chicago y'all yeah say it's uh two hundred and fifty thousand dollars uh and uh people uh i'm just throwing numbers here and uh 
these offers come in and they people who are putting in offers they know that other people already have put in offers for that particular house what tends to happen is some people will put in higher offers so it's like they are bidding um on that one house so they will come and say okay this house is uh, worth 250 and somebody may have offered uh, maybe even 240 or less than the market value and uh people start increasing their offers uh so what i learned is our are uh, uh, coming across this news I learned that people are over people are over paying for these homes as high as thirty thousand dollars over the uh, market value for that one part for that particular home so what I was thinking was I, I need to I, I needed to make this video so that I can um, advise you if you are a potential buyer or you are uh, shopping for a home I would really advise against buying a home that is uh, overvalued because if a home is it has a market a true market value of two hundred and fifty thousand and you and somebody pays two hundred and eighty thousand that does not change the value of the house. That that house is still uh, valued at $250,000. And if you are going to uh, stay there for maybe five years and then want to move, you have chances um, you are not going to realize $280 from the sale of that house. So that's why I want to advise you against overpaying. Uh, for for homes because of the volatile market. So who are selling these homes? Uh, in in most cases, this may be tired landlords. These landlords who've been uh, are facing a, a a tough time chasing after renters who haven't been able to pay since last year because maybe they've they had lost their jobs or they they had their hours cut or they were laid off. One whatever reason it is, some tired landlords are getting rid of their houses right now and some of these people who may be selling these homes may be real estate investors those people who buy uh, houses uh, when at a discount uh, or foreclosed homes or um, whatever the circumstances they buy and hold or, and then when the market is like this like hot like this when it is the seller's market they will go ahead and sell the homes and you as a, as a potential buyer People are the ones who are kind of now determining how much that one particular home is going to go for. So I, I, I wanted to stop by here today and tell you and advise you against overpaying for a home. Because if a home is valued at a certain, uh, at a certain value, it's paying over for it is not going to make the value of the house go down unless if the markets keep going up 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 which we know that nothing always goes up and never comes down so this is just a phase what we are facing right now actually is the direct opposite of what what happened in 2008 in 2008 a lot of us that's when we acquired properties uh, our homes condos or whatever that's when we bought our homes because um in 2008 most people were losing their homes because people had been getting these mortgages uh, and yet they couldn't uh, afford them and we, when we went into a recession most people lost their homes and these are the homes that were going for super duper low prices so what we are experiencing right now is the direct opposite of what we experienced in 2008 so what does that mean for you as a potential buyer or someone who may be looking at buying a home in this in these times when the market is hot like this it means either you are going to be overpaying for a home, which I do not recommend. Uh, I want to advise you to hold off if it is not an absolute uh, uh, emergency or if it is not urgent that you buy a home. I advise you to hold off. Yes, wait. It's okay. The market we know even if it goes up, it will come down just like anything. Stock market, everything. When it goes up, it comes down. It goes up, and that's how it goes. That's how life is. That's how investments. And everything is like uh, in this day and age so I'll recommend that you hold off buying because if you buy right now chances are you're going to overpay for that for that home okay if you insist on buying uh, take time take time to try by all means not to pay, overpay for a home you'd rather just pay the exact amount of the market value because usually when people put in offers at times they are putting offers that are lower than the market value or the listed price 
for that home so what i'll recommend or what i'll give you uh or the advice that i can give you is that hold off take your time do not rush because if you make a rush decision you are there's a high chance that you are going to end up overpaying for that home if your offer loses that's fine yours is coming your turn is going to come and also have wide open options look at other cities uh, that not too many people are moving to avoid uh, cities or states that people love to retire to because those states where people love to retire to like uh, Florida, San San Diego, um, my dream. <laughs> those places, they tend to have higher property values because people always want to buy in those places. Some buy them as their second home, second homes or their seasonal homes where they go to when it's winter in their, in their cities or in their states. So I would advise you to avoid buying in uh, places like Florida or these other places where uh, where the market where the the housing market tends to be uh, very 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 volatile. So the other thing that I want to uh, advise you as a potential house uh, buyer is make sure that your finances your finances are intact and in order. You know, on this channel I talk about personal finances a lot, and uh, one of the things that I talk about on this channel is that avoid buying uh avoid um getting a mortgage if you can if you can i'm not saying that a mortgage is wrong but if you can pay for your house cash absolutely that's fine but put down something put down uh, a higher amount go for that 20 percent down and i want to advise against the zero zero percent down payment because that shows me that if, for the most people who are going for the zero percent down those are people who cannot even afford buying a house at that particular uh, time in their lives uh, i actually just uh, uploaded a video talking about that i'm going to uh, link that video in the icon somewhere here and in the description box so as a potential buyer the other thing that i would recommend uh, apart from the uh, from uh, putting down a, a a, a, a significant amount of money towards the deposit i will also uh, recommend uh that you as you are working towards buying your home with uh uh and uh, working towards putting down 20 percent towards the deposit make sure that the mortgage uh, your monthly mortgage payment is not going to be more than 25 percent of your take-home pay so because if it's more than 25 percent it's going to put a strain on you and uh you might if you if you are not making enough uh you may want to uh, do some side hustles or start something in the home uh, to supplement and increase your uh, net income. And um, as I was looking at this news that's flying and I was wondering why why the housing market is all of a sudden getting so crazy hot and volatile, it's because most people have, have been working from home and uh, yes, like I said, millennials and these people uh, need extra room in their houses. They need a home offices. Say a couple is working from home they will need his and her office so they need two extra rooms uh, to turn into offices so so that means that three bedroom house that they've had all along no longer suffices so that means they have to upgrade and buy maybe at least a five a four to five bedroom house so that could be the reason why we are seeing the market as it is because of more and more people working from home and the, the other reason is more and more people are starting their own businesses the home based businesses need a lot of space especially for those people who are going to be uh, selling physical goods they need extra room to store the inventory they may need a bigger garage a double a double uh, car garage or something bigger they may need a basement they may need uh, at least two extra rooms to store their inventory so people who are getting into business also uh, it could be in the market to buy a new home and we see even if it's a uh, lockdown more and more people are having babies and they are outgrowing their homes so they may need to upgrade it could be any number of reasons uh, that people are need to upgrade great and those people are retiring as well like this couple that i uh, i'm telling you about who put in an offer for a house in michigan and that house ended up with 26 offers obviously they were smart enough not to want to overpay uh for that house they they let that house go and they are going to put off buying a house right now until 
the market kind of stabilizes again if you are a real estate investor uh, then there's never a bad market for real estate investors anytime is uh, money time for real estate investors so those people who've been uh, holding on to properties this is the time to sell those properties and those people who are looking at to at expanding and getting onto Airbnbs, this is another great time to start that Airbnb business because according to the economic news uh, Airbnb are now picking up again people are now traveling again so the economy is starting to pick up and it's booming and business is going on so you just need to identify the locations identify the places and be flexible at times when you are flexible the more flexible you are the better for you because if you are not flexible then you might be at the mercy of those people who are selling those homes so I thought I'll stop by here today and uh, just share this news have you you have you heard about this uh hot 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 <laughs> housing market how about your country if you're in uh, the philippines so um or in uh, England, the UK, uh, South Africa, how is the housing market over there? Just sound off in the comments below and tell me what's going on in your neighborhood as far as uh, properties. Are people listing and selling their homes? Are people more people buying? Or well, how are the prices like? I really want to know. I'm so curious. I want to hear what uh, or how the housing market is in your area. With that being said, my friends, remember to subscribe because because as you can see I bring you value on this channel and I also bring you some motivational videos don't forget to click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos and remember to click the like button if you love this uh, video and don't forget to share it with uh, with your friends and uh, your neighbors your workmates and yeah let's increase this community please subscribe it's absolutely free did you know that yeah it is <laughs> and I'll see you on my next video with that being said, remember to do small things with great love from my heart to yours. Bye-bye.